Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles. G Patrol. Follow us. What makes people obese? And why do they find it so difficult to get it under control? I look at myself in the mirror. I'll just think to myself, yeah, look at you, you're a hippo. Horrible, ugly, fat, weirdless. Whether it's an addiction or an emotional crutch, it's a daily struggle with the one thing we can't do without. For me, food is absolutely everything. My name is Jesse Pavelka, and I specialize in extreme weight loss. Keep going, man. Come on. We all have this little voice in our head that says we can't. My job is to jump in there and say you can't. We got to take the plane back. F off. I'm over in the UK to help nine super morbidly obese people regain their lives and their bodies. There's a lot of changes that have to be made. You can't live like this anymore. I'll be stripping away the emotional layers to find out why they've got themselves into this state. You can either be the sickness in your world or you can be the cure. It'll be physically grueling. Let's go. <laughs> Giving up? No. Let's stand up. And emotionally draining. It's going to be a year that saves my life. <laughs> the next 12 months will be the toughest they have ever faced as they battle their inner demons. Come on, don't give up, man. I'm not giving up. But the results will be dramatic and change their lives forever. With the people I'm dealing with, it's do or die. So if they don't want to do it, they have no other option. This is it. It's 365 days giving them my all, and I want them to give me their all. And that's it. It's a commitment. Weighing in at just over 34 stone, 29-year-old Lee Veazey's journey is about to begin. I'll end up killing myself. I might be dead in three or four years. At his heaviest, Lee hit a life-threatening 37 and a half stone. It's taken him two years to lose just three of them. All of me is too big. I've got like a big chubby face. My arms aren't too bad apart from the knee, like, toning up a little bit, and then like, my man boobs there, the sides, that bit there, and then there's like the, the bottom section. That is the worst part, and I really don't like that bit. There's my legs, obviously like there. With what I'm doing to my body, anything could happen. Heart attack, diabetes, I might be dead in three or four years. From when I was like 13, I've always been big. This is like 16 years on. 16 years on and I'm still massive. So this is where my life needs to turn around. Really, it should have turned around years ago. I love cooking. I like chili con carnes, spaghetti bolognese, lasagnas. I made curries, just anything that, that you can actually put a little bit more effort into. Lee's problem stems from gluttony. He makes vast quantities of food, and he's not the only one it's affecting. In six years together, his fiance Nicholas gained a stone a year. I mean, we've been together six, six and a half years now, and in, in that time, we've both put weight on, um, a lot of it through being a bit lazy. We do eat meals that are much bigger than merely we should. Her weight has got worse since she met me as well, which I suppose is kind of my fault. Lee's eating three times as much as he needs, 
It's a habit he learned when he was a kid. Things would have been different if I had a different home life. If it was tough at home, when my dad kind of left, um, all the family, my mum's side, we all got a bit closer. And um, like me and Sean are like the men of the that, that side of the family, if you understand what I mean by that. Come in. You sure you don't want a sandwich? No, man. My mum, she had to go out and she had to do two jobs. She'd got the food for us and she'd be like, right, we've got stuff in the freezer, we've got this, you know what I mean? And we used to, like, cook it, the sausages, to cook them quicker. They were fried. We, were, we had, like, oven chips. It weren't just, like, a, a little portion of oven chips. We were, like, whacking them in. We can't, we can't blame anybody else other than being greedy ourselves. He's getting married soon, then he's going to be having kids and stuff like that. We want to be able to make sure he gets to watch his kids grow up and live a long life. Otherwise, I think the league kind of keeps me on the straight and narrow most of the time, so I'm a bit worried. <laughs> God knows what will happen to me if he's gone. So he's got to make sure that he's uh, here to look after me. For, for a very long time. Lee and I are planning to get married next year in July. It's all booked. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm finding it much more exciting than Lee. <laughs> My life is starting to get a little bit more serious. Um, like we're getting married and then in a couple of years looking to have kids. I don't want to get to the point where I'll end up killing myself and then leaving Nick with, like, kids that I would love to spend time with, you know what I mean? And I worry as well, cos I think at my size, I don't think I would get pregnant, I think I would struggle. So, from my point of view as well, obviously getting healthier, getting fitter, I think would help us, when the time is right, to, to be able to, to have children. I want to get started now. This, this is what... This is what I've waited for for so many years, that the, every week that goes by, it's just another week that I could be ch making a change to my life. Lee's relationship with food has gone from comfort to joy to obsession. And now it's the thing that could kill him. He's not in control of it. It's in control of him. Hello, Jesse. Lee. How are you? How you doing, man? All right. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you yeah, too. Yeah, sure. What smells so good? Oh, uh, chili con carne. Yeah. He's stopping for some. I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready. <laughs> this is Nicola. Hello, this Nicola. Is Jesse. Let's I've heard a little you. bit about you. I'll learn more about you today, though, right? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've got a chili con carne on the go. Chili con carne. Yeah. Who'd made this? Me. You made it. Me this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he's more of a perfectionist when it comes to cooking. He's competitive too, isn't he? Yes. I can tell. And if I even if I do try and cook, he'll come in and take over. Take over. So. <laughs> oh, so he's, he's controlling now, huh? <laughs> No, mate. This is mine. Yeah. Portion size yeah. could be a little out of control. Spilling off the edge. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's not going to be tasty. It's a lot, though. So, I can't eat all this. I'm going to be honest. That's OK. Can you eat all that? Yeah. This normally would be a light meal after work. You know, with, with some of the people I work with, it's. It's not necessarily that they're not full, it's just they don't have that switch that goes off that says, I'm full. I mean, your yeah, body tells you like when you're me. full. I don't think we do that. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. better know. I'm full. But thank you very much for cooking that. That's fine. Um, I think we can make it a little healthier, which I'll show you how to do, but not bad. Yeah, so um, Nick's going to be um, helping me along the way, and she's open to to lose some weight as well. I'm excited for both of you guys because I think doing this together is, is going to benefit both of you. You make the relationship stronger, which is, is key, um, and, and you guys are going to be able to enjoy life in a different way, you know? Yeah. Can't wait. All right, Brilliant. Man. Good. Well, thank, thank you. you for letting me in your house. I know that there's going to be challenges, not only mental, physical challenges as well. You can handle it. Yeah. So definitely. get ready, man. Get Looking ready. Forward to it. It's cool, man. Give me a hug. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me here, brother. Cheers.
you know, Lee's a big guy with a big appetite. It's not that the food wasn't healthy, it was just the amount of food put on the plate. Um, that's something he's gonna have to change. That's an important thing that he's gonna have to change. That's tough, you know, he's probably used to, since he was a kid, having these massive plates with a lot of food on them. If we can get that under control, I have no question about his efforts with the exercise. I ain't gonna fail. <coughs> I ain't gonna fail this time. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> So this is his time. This is his time to make a change. And um, I think he's going to do it. If I can do it, then I'd be strong enough to then pass it on to... <coughs> on to other people kind of thing. At more than 34 stone, Lee has a monumental battle ahead of him. And it starts in my hometown. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Stay with me, stay with me. Two tons, man. This is two tons. You're moving. You're not done. We gotta take the plane back. 